Mr. Yankee Forever. This is Mountain Man Preparedness. This is my video response to you if I can figure out how to get it from the Droid X to YouTube. You can see I've got power everything. It's a Silverado edition. I don't know if you can see that very well. No frills. I mean, yeah, something happened to that before I bought it. But it does have air conditioning there. Has the switches there for the rear air and the rear heat, which is right there. Have the third row seat, and I have a snow sled. Imagine that somewhere in the south having a snow sled. Uh, that's to the Yukon. Although that might be a good viable option if I can figure out how to put a set of replacement seats in where they can fold and tumble, and I can use one at time back there, or like a conversion van bed seat or something for traveling don't know yet got the huge console nothing no frills there that was the option not the old the I don't know what you call it Rubbermaid bowl not that but yeah I was in the army and the Marine Corps but anyways uh, the shifter and the other thing I was after was the diesel which I got this thing needs some work Dash is all cracked. Headliner is in fairly good shape. Looks like they took care of that overhead console. You know, electric everything. Which I'd rather have manual, but beggars can't be choosers for what I got it for. That's my secret. Tell you later. Needs a paint job, but it's getting line x This is what I was talking about. I'm going to take those off. And do something better with those. Yeah, it's a 1500. And I got this metal cancer going on there. Nice rims. Go over here. My neighbor going by, wondering some kook or something. But I got locking hubs on this one. Let's go around. Get the hub. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's the bane of my existence right there. This truck was running. Yeah, I got a mud dauber nest, is what we call them here. And there's another one over there, but that's okay. This thing was running until I changed that fuel filter. And I'll be darned if I can get this thing primed back to run. I've broken a starter bolt off in the case. I've got to drill and retap, which I have the tools to do that, which is, but I don't have to seem to have the time. That's brand new, the condenser. And it's been switched over. Um, Dual batteries, I got dual Optimus. But like you said, I'm going to upgrade to a better electrical system. This is the original, you can tell. Um, the original GM stuff. Boy, that thunder is really getting bad. We've got a bad storm coming. Uh, walk around here. There's my Jeep. And you can see it's heavy duty on barn doors. It's the Silverado package. is just a little rough. But something interesting I want to show you guys, other than the push bar, the grill. Yeah, I'm an Iraq War vet. Combat vet. Lost some of our guys, but is this. It's got a dual setup on the front for towing, for flat towing. Yeah, and they bent the thing. I think they were chained. It was chained. Safety chain, but Hope the audio is okay. This is what this size this side looks like. Not too bad. Um, this is what bugs me. These were brand new tires. I drove them back from out of state. Sorry, sorry guys for the bad video. Drove them back from out of state, and they're wobbling like this. Now check the hub. Hub's just a little loose. Would that make that happen? Right there. I'm thinking it's the ball joints. They're getting replaced anyway because I just don't feel like. Uh, I should have to screw with that. Alternator's brand new, replaced it myself. All the drive belts are brand new. I did run a new, I guess, positive cable down to the starter. I, I went ahead and bit the bullet and ran that myself. You know, that redneck, so to speak, job of this. Yeah, I can do better than that. I'm sure you all will agree. 
just you know when your funds are limited you got to do what you can do so it's starting to rain but haven't had any lightning strikes local yet hopefully i'm not the first one but that thing i cannot get the freaking thing to prime or to prime the injectors man so if anybody this is a 6.2 naturally aspirated diesel you know the old it's a uh not a j code it is a c code i believe it is j codes usually were in the military vehicles for some reason they ran better i don't know why maybe it was the multi-fuel version not sure if anybody can help me answer that especially you yankee prepper i know you got a 6.5 turbo i wish i had a turbo right here but i don't maybe i can get a 6.5 manifold and everything put on here to make it work it's possible it does work i just don't have the parts if anybody can help me figure out how to prime this rascal i know how to prime it but it's not priming so anybody can help me out i appreciate it and uh, i need to get it going before winter it's full of fuel so there hasn't been oxygen to it and i had stabilizer in the diesel i didn't put pry d in there but i did have some diesel fuel stabilizer in it so that's all I've got right now. Thanks, guys, and thanks to you, Yankee Prepper. You inspired me to keep my Suburban and get this old beast on the road again for the preparedness vehicle, so to speak. For Mountain Man Preparedness, I'm signing. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening.